This is Pioneer's AVHW 4500 next. This is an in-dash AM, FM, and HD radio, CD and DVD player with a fully motorized 7-inch detachable touchscreen. The AVHW 4500 next is compatible with Android Auto and Google Assistant in a wireless configuration or wired through USB. And it works with Apple CarPlay and Apple HomeKit in a wireless configuration or wired through USB. The AVHW 4500 next has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The SD card slot and the dual USB ports can be used to connect your phone and playback MP3 or FLAC music and MP4 videos. The system features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. All right. Pop the flap open here. There we go. First up here is the wire harness, and we'll use the wire harness to make all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver to the vehicle, power ground, speakers, all of those connections. Next up, we have the, uh, the input-output wire harness, and the input-output wire harness here, we'll take a little closer look uh, at a little later in the video to show you all the connections there. Next up, we have the GPS antenna, and the GPS antenna here is used for wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Next up, we have the USB extension. Now, please remember that the USB ports are, are on the back of this in-dash receiver, and so we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment where you can plug in. Next up, we have uh, the Bluetooth microphone here used for making hands-free Bluetooth phone calls. Uh, it comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a very flexible installation. Next, we have some installation screws and a uh, wire tie for an HDMI connection. And we have uh, a wireless remote control. There's the wireless remote. Here's a couple of labels for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto for USB number one or USB number two. That can be very useful for you. Next up we have, uh, let's see, the quick start guide. And you can download a complete copy of the owner's manual right to your cell phone in PDF form from pioneerelectronics.com. And last is the, uh, the warranty card. All right, let's pull the in-dash receiver up out of here. Oh, wait, here's something else. Here is... We also have the carry case for the detachable face right there. All right. The front panel of the AVHW 4500 Next is a fully motorized 7-inch touchscreen with an SD card slot and CD DVD slot behind the screen. The volume control is here and the home key and display keys are here. This is the voice activation key. You'll do most of your interaction with the in-dash receiver with the 7 inch motorized touchscreen. And of course, detachable face security. The back panel of the AVHW 4500 next has the GPS antenna input right here. The GPS antenna is used for Android Auto Wireless and Apple CarPlay Wireless. Please remember, the GPS antenna is meant to be kept on the inside of the vehicle. Here is USB port 1 used for Apple CarPlay. And here is USB port 2 used for Android Auto. Both USB ports can be used for music, movies, and still images through a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring the USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. Here are three black ports. The one on top is for operating your steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter, and the one on the bottom is the second zone audio output. The third black port is for the Bluetooth microphone included with the in-dash receiver. And here is where you'll plug in the power wire harness connected to the vehicle. On the other side, we start off with the dedicated port for the optional 
iDataLink Maestro RR OEM integration unit. Next is the HDMI input. And you'll plug in the optional SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM right here. The audio and video input output wire harness will plug in here, and I'll show you more detail on that in just a moment. The yellow port is for adding on the optional AVIC U280 navigation system from Pioneer. And finally, the AM FM and HD radio antenna from the vehicle will plug in here. On the signal input output wire harness, we'll start off with three sets of four volt RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They can be set up as front, rear, and subwoofer output, or for higher audio quality and better system control, high, mid, and low output. Next, we have an audio and video RCA input. This can also be used as a second camera input. Here is the system mute. It can be used to mute the audio system if required by an external system. Here is the rear monitor or second zone video output. The brown jack here is the dedicated backup camera input. And finally, the black jack here is the audio and video auxiliary input. And that is Pioneer's AVHW 4500 NEX, wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto in-dash receiver. And what's in the box?